what you came for Blood on the game bow Everybody drop it like rainfall uh, This is your moment Eyes on a puppet Can't think church just open And you're singing your praises La 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 Screaming your name La 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 One more step You're mortal now Cause once you play God Once you play God Hello everybody out there watching the stream. Uh, we are getting in real quick. We start a little late. Uh, th I am your host, Tyler Reeves, a.k.a. Yolo Tyler. And I am your co-host, Helen Bonesack, a.k.a. Arianth. Uh, we're starting in quick. Obviously, we can see that Warper College is running a more Brawl-style comp with that new reworked Sombra, and we see Co College going for a similar approach as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see Pickle Poet trying to get that turret, and he succeeds. Very good to get that out early in order to try and block out uh, some of that extra heals. Oh, we are obviously going to see a Symmetra coming out of French Rob. Uh, Symmetra just gains so much value on Li Zhang. Not in this map specifically, unless you're front holding that doorway choke by the enemy spawn. But Symmetra gives a lot of value in the other two maps with TPs. Mm -hmm. uh, we see that Ko wants to go for a very high damage approach, running Bastion and Junkrat with a tanky front line as Orisa. Yep. And it does seem like they were able to take out French Rob with that comp. 
Unfortunately, it was not enough to drop anybody else. Ooh, we do see su Sassy Jesus almost going down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, big purple from Al. But unfortunately, the bath shield. But we do see a Nano come in, and that back line looks juicy. Mm -hmm. Pickle Poet going in, cleaning them all out. Yep. And that goes to show that when you're in an enclosed place with an ulting Ramatra, it goes bad. <sighs> Very quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh, but Warburg might be getting a bit greedy being so far forward. If they're not careful, that could cost them. As we did say, though, uh, Symmetra, her best part on this map specifically is kind of just doing this front chokehold with that doorway mm -hmm. because it kind of forces the enemy team to either just go big through here and commit or they're going to have to go the top path behind. Indeed. We do see a tree out of uh, drag just kind of holding them back into big purple from oh, biggest yes. of owls. And Once again, Pickle Poet knows to go for that turret in order to block out all that those extra heals. Just another game of cleanup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Junkrat killed himself. Oof. Well done, Glam Hate attack. to see it. Well done. Sassy Jesus is asleep. Um, big purple again, but they're probably not going to be able to capitalize as mm -mm. well off of this one. Or maybe so. Bastion ult coming in, forcing Pickle Poet to play a little more defensively. Yep. We do you see this new brawl style Sombra is just holding the corner hard, not letting them in and pickle. Oh, big Junkrat ultimate. Oh, yeah. That takes out both DPS and the tank. That could. Uh, uh, in that, the end, it unfortunately. Yep. Sorry. In the end, it does not matter. Time runs no. out. Warburg clean sweeps it. Mm -hmm. And we go to map two. Yep. I did not realize that we were at 99% already. I misread the numbers. It is very hard to get past that front yep. choke if you're running brawl. Or yeah. at least on def when you're defending as Brawl, it's hard to get through that choke just because you're able to hold them back with so much damage. Mm -hmm. It really takes, they'd have to, they'd have probably had to change their whole team comp just to be able to escape it. Oh. We do see both teams are now running Sim, obviously, because Sim just gives so much more value mm -hmm. on this map specifically and the other one if we see it tonight. We oh, but uh, Wilberg is going to be running the same comp as before. Ugh. We do also see the Alari switch to a Kiriko, mm -hmm. probably for that biggest of Al's purples because they gave a lot of value. We do and see both teams, teams keeping big teeping purple right but gets on. cleansed. Uh, we do see French Rob is going to get a little taking bit of down, cleanup here. Oh, taking down the uh, Bastion. We did lose biggest of Al's there in that fight, but he was the only loss on Warburg's side. Unfortunately, not quite enough to make a difference. Just unfortunately for uh, Co College is Ramatra brawls just a little better in my opinion than Orisa, especially in that mm -hmm. kind of situation. He's just a lot better at cleaning up Squishy's close range. He is, because he can just walk straight back past once he goes into melee mode and just cleans <laughs> up. Oh, we do see French Rob is kind of trying to hold an angle, mm -hmm. catch someone off guard potentially. Using those. Uh sim balls in order to they do take him out from far away early force out of immortal Ooh, potential mm -hmm. pick but gets speared back french rob or pickle poet wants it but decides to back off smartly yes could have uh if they had gotten greedy there they almost certainly would have been separated and taken out we do see they are just going to kind of brawl and pretend this point is kind of like that first choke on the last map mm -hmm. which unless co figure something out it might end very similarly we yep. do see this rework symmetra is kind of gross in 1v1s or even just from brawl distance because as you see he just uh lurgan turgan hit the enemy symmetra with a virus and he didn't just, have to do anything after that nope and we, we see that uh enemy symmetra has switched over to may now potentially going to be going for some freeze strats here in order to try and stop him and i think the may will work Pickle a little poet. better Ends up getting a ult off, <laughs> but good Maywall in order to block him off and try and cut him out. But unfortunately, it was not enough to fully eliminate him. I do think the May will run better. Unfortunately, they just got ulted right there. Mm -hmm. We did see Warburg pop three ults, though, and Ko is still building some up. Yep. They, Ko will almost have four by this next fight, which means that if they push fast enough, they will be able to make it on. Ooh, they are going to have to rush, though. They There's will. only 10%. I don't even know. They're not going to be able to touch in time. That's a... It looks like it's going to be GG. No, I don't think they'll be able to touch. Yeah, they decided to go top The Orisa is trying to cut through on the bottom, but Orisa is not fast enough to be able to make it. Lurgan Turgan cutting him off. <laughs> EMPing. Yeah. Yep. Fortunate. 
it is very unfortunate there. They just were not able to push past Warburg's defense of that door. They switched too late in order to try and do that high ground, and Warburg read it and met them there. We see the ult going to Pickled Poet for the insane pressing of Q at this really cramped hallway here. I think we should more be appreciating the nano coming from mm -hmm. Ana. Sure, he held the trigger and killed them, but Ana saved his life and gave him the power. Mm -hmm. Thank you, biggest of us. Nanos are, oh, can always make or break a tide of the battle. Oh, we, I assume we're going to be taking a short little break now, but when we come back, we'll be, be playing, playing hybrid. hybrid. Yep. Map to be determined after a clean sweep on Li Zhang. Alrighty, everybody, we are back for our hybrid map. It looks like the chosen map is going to be Blizzard World. So we will see how this ends up going for everybody. Oh, welcome back. Obviously, as Helen said, we are on Blizzard World. We're excited to see what's going to be happening. Um, uh, Co College, unfortunately, yeah, just got held out and brawl a little bit. But Control mm -hmm. and Hybrid are completely different worlds. So we might be able to see Co College really make a push here. Exactly. Um, At can't... this point, it is still pretty much anybody's game. Did they make any subs? I didn't notice. Do they have any subs? I... I don't think so. Don't believe so. I hear the monkeys in the distance. That means it's game time. Mm-hmm. Oh, we do see a similar composition, except we are subbing out an Ash and an Orissa. We're going for a more pickled-style brawl. He does love his Ramatra, but his Orissa is better, I would argue. Well... Arissa is always a good pl person to play. Arissa just does not die. No. They, they, Her survivability is very impressive. It really helps when Blizzard makes nerfs that do nothing. Oh, you know? oh yeah. We love you, Blizzard. Um, we do see that Co College is also going for a similar style comp that they were playing, except they're bringing in a Soldier and an Ana. Ooh, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Playing the high ground from Wartburg here. 
see someone's favorite color was violet. Violet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're no longer getting Aww. to view the chat. <laughs> we no we'll no get longer to see, see the color colors. pole. Lurgan Turgan playing rather aggressively here as Sombra. <sighs> Pushing forward, trying to get that chip damage. He's just going to have to hope he doesn't get hit by a javelin mm -hmm. because if he does, he might not he get back He might be out. You see a we see a purple in. coming from Case Ryan. Enemy Ana there. Ooh, beautiful javelin on Sebastian. Mm -hmm. I feel like the two tanks that play best on Sebastian are Arissa. And are we see Blurgan fall back in order to get the necessary healing to survive. Just in time. So the thing with the new virus is that it does the same amount of damage no matter what, but if he has a hack, hack on, on first, them? it'll go a little faster. I believe it also counts as a headshot if the enemy is hacked. I don't think it does bonus damage, though. I think it just goes faster is what I was told. But I could be mm -hmm. big purple from Al, but Arissa was able to make some space and protect the mm -hmm. team. But we do see Pickled kind of going for a back angle, but they're just repositioning to make it work. But now they're kind of pinched and held in this room. Mm -hmm. And they all oh, big nano Ooh, coming nano in. nano onto Pickled. He's going to use that to push forward, try and eliminate, but unfortunately the supports in there are just keeping him up. We do see Al is sweating right now, trying to make sure the tank does not. Another big purple from Al. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, Pickled might go down here. He gets his ult up. But it looks like Warburg's going to be able to hold off here yep. just barely. And they do manage to win this team fight. It was very close, though. Very close team fight. Mm hmm. If, uh,. Biggest Vals was not quite so handy with a shot. He definitely would not have managed to keep the tank up there. We should not forget Drag as well because he is mm -hmm. also doing a great job. Yes. We do see double main healer, which is always great for always Arisa. Always good. It's just mm -hmm. Arisa's immortal. If you can keep Arisa at above half health, they're done. They're good. They're sitting pretty. They as don't need as, any help. As long as Arisa has cooldowns, she just doesn't die. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. They did recently. Oh, Ooh. big pick. Right on top of the Bastion, no space to move. Great hack from Lurgan to get the Javelin mm -hmm. spin out, and now the team's purpled and just going to go down one at a time. Yep. Warburg successfully holds once again. We do see both teams are building up a ton of ultimates. Yep. The, we see uh, Co College has basically four. Only one not fully charged yet is going to be that uh, Nano from Ana. Warburg also has four, with Pickled Poet being the only one not to have full charge yet. And I do believe that Blurgan will probably use hack this fight as soon as they fully choose to commit. But I assume we'll see a big AMP mm -hmm. coming out. And what all they choose to use to uh, take advantage of that? Oh, it Ooh. looks like they've already thrown Amazingly a bomb. Amazingly placed bomb, oh, and they a nano, nano bomb. <laughs> oh, that is rough. Oh, that support. is just. Pickle pushing in a little Cruelty. farther than he needs to, but I think he'll be fine with the Sombra's backup. Ooh, big Ooh. purple, though. Yes. See, with Sombra's new rework, she does in a way better job at actually, like, finishing mm -hmm. enemies and winning 1v1s, but her new problem is that she it just isn't Ooh. nearly as survivable. Oh, and we see both Pickled Poet and Drag go down. We best hope that uh, Ko pushes forward, otherwise they might lose the advantage, but I definitely think they will be able to take the point off that if they're smart enough. Ko College also has five ultimates, which means mm -hmm. they can hold very Ooh, hard Oh, and here. there's the Bastion ult. Fortunately, it does not seem to hit anybody. Bastion, ooh, big sleep onto Al. And he's down. Yeah, they're gonna cap here unless Pickle's able to get in there. But it seems we get an EMP and they might actually we be able to go for this. We have counter Kiri, po uh, Kiri ults. Uh, Every as, ult in the game is ooh. being popped right now. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Ko is going to win and the ult C9. fight. And C9. Yeah. Alrighty, and that is Ko taking the first point and get unlocking payload. But they did use all of their ults to get there. Anyways, but Warburg did too. Back, so back to a more passive talk uh, about <laughs> New Sombra is I feel like the New Sombra definitely pits Warp fits Warburg's play style a lot better than Old Sombra just because uh, they're a very brawl heavy team. They mm -hmm. love their they love brawling. Obviously, with uh, Pickle Poet playing a lot of Som uh, God, can't speak uh, a lot of Orissa and Ramatra, uh, but he also does love to play dive a lot, which Sombra can even dive still technically with her cooldowns. So overall, this Sombra rework, rework is very nice for Warburg. Yes, it has caused a big turn up. And honestly, I can't play a single game now without at least one Sombra. <laughs> That's always how the reworks go. Mm -hmm. 
On the bright side, it brings down the support cues a little bit. They're not as long. Still ridiculous, but... Ooh, big sleep on a pickled poet. They might be able to push past him now and create more space. But Pickle's gonna do the same thing as soon as he wakes up. Kiri getting the cleanse, saving Bastion. Pickle definitely wants to go for an alt here. I can smell it. Oh, yeah. But he's probably gonna wait until they no, turn this won't. corner just to make sure he stays in light of Absolutely sight for not. healers. No? Pickle go Pickle does not wait for no man. And we do see French Rob has his ult up. Ooh, little rocket jump playing TF2 out here. Mm -hmm. And French Rob is going to pop that ult. Ooh. Ooh. But Glam Attack Trade. manages to take him out. Unfortunately, I don't believe it was enough as the rest of his team goes down first. Lurgan did clean up a little bit, though, mm -hmm. which helped kill the rest of the team. Yep. And that was a very clean fight. Much better. Oops. <laughs> Loud water bottles in the area, it seems. Ooh, we are getting close to final fight territory right mm -hmm. now. Both teams just trying to build up alts and get picks. Big picks. We see Blurg and Turgan flip, uh, trying to harry them from the side. And he did just build up his ult. We'll uh, see whether or not he... Huge sleep by Al. Yeah. Oh, we've got uh, Bastion using his ult, presumably on point, to try and clear the area. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to matter. No, I don't believe so. They just could not get back on. It appears it's going to be a good round, and we're going to get to see Warper take the offense. Yep. And now we get to see if Warburg is get just as good as attack as they are at defending. If I had to guess, I'd say they're probably going to run a divish to try and take that high ground yeah. early, depending on if they're placed there, or they might just keep the Orisa because it's working. Yep. Whether they stay or switch, it's really going to depend on what they're trying to do and how fast they try to take this point. My prediction is maybe, probably not, but maybe we'll see French Rob pull out his Genji. Maybe. He's been working on it. Hearthstone Tavern. Never played Hearthstone. Is it good? Mm. Oh, is it buff damage? It does. Oh. oh. Having just looked up the uh, some really of the change notes for Sombra, it does appear that impact damage is doubled on a hacked target, so... I blame Blurgan. He lied to me. We do see well, a Torb Sigma. They're going to play a lot more poke here with that kind of mm -hmm. picks, but we'll see if it's able to run against Warburg's Brawl because they did keep the Orisa, which honestly might be better for Ooh, them. Switching over to a Reaper instead of a Sombra. Going to try and get into those back lines to clean up, probably. Ugh. If Lurgan gets anywhere near Sigma, he just will not live, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Sigma will not live, I should specify. Reaper will eat him alive. Oh, I was wondering if French Rob. Nah, this ain't Overwatch League. We don't do TP and switches. Mm -hmm. French Rob just wanted to go his own way. We do see they opted for that high ground, which is smart when they're playing a poke comp like Sigma. Indeed. They are going to go for a TP straight to TP point, right which on honestly point. is just smart. Yep. Yeah, now they're going to eat that Sigma, like yep. I said. And, just and the unfortunately, rest of the... it's not going to be... Yeah, unfortunately, when, like, Warper doesn't need to push far, which means that it just works for them to go to point. They don't yeah. need to try and fight them when they're up there. No. I think, in the end, it would have been smarter for Ko to play kind of on the groundish, or at least not split a lot, but, like, close to each other, mm -hmm. where they can also hold that low ground, because that's what costed them that fight by a long shot. And we do see them switch to Tracer and D.Va in order to try and dive back onto the point. They know that Warpurk does not have to push far, and they are not looking to see Warpurk take this fight easily. They might just get held out completely. Mm -hmm. Oh, javelin by Pickle. Ooh. And down goes the uh, Torb, as well as his turret, and there went the Tracer. But unfortunately, it coast not getting on point, and so they just <sighs> were yeah. unable to stop Warpurk from taking it. Drag and Blurgan were able to dive the back line mm -hmm. and not let him heal the tank, which no. means that they were able to see nine point. Very unfortunate for Co College there. Ultimately, what costed them that round was definitely just the TP to point. I think Co maybe yeah. should have played a little closer, considering how first round went. But ultimately, it's there's a lot of different ways it could have could have gone, and hindsight's always twenty twenty.
Anyways, when we come back, we'll be on Flashpoint, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be playing. So Indeed. I you you will watching. potentially be just me or a new commentator for this round. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't feed. I probably will. Uh, see you guys later. Alrighty, everybody, we are back for Flashpoint. As you can see, New Junk City has been chosen for our arena of this fight. Yolo Tylo has been subbed in for another healer. They wanted a Lucio for Flashpoint to try and get there faster. And instead, I have gained a new co-host. Hi. <laughs> I'm just here to sub in Yolo Tylo. Mm -hmm. Dreg has joined me from playing healer to commentate for me for this match. Yes, we needed a Lucio for this because it's way easier to get across the map with his speed boost mm -hmm. uh, rather than any other supports. And we do see both Wartburg and Co. have gone for Junker Queens on this fight. Good choice, seeing as this is her home turf. For Wartburg, we also see Soldiers, Sombra, and Anna, whereas Co. has a Soldier as well. 
but a May instead of Sombra, and then a Moira and Kiriko. Yes, this is going to be a very interesting match. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Wartburg is probably going to be able to get to point first, seeing as they have a Lucio on their team to boost them. But that does not necessarily mean they'll take it, depending on whether or not Ko is able to get the right point from them. Yep, just depends on how much damage each side does. Mm -hmm. And we see Blurgen Turgen has already walked forward and is flanking the back line, going straight for those healers. Yep, it's always good to uh, get, get an off angle on, mm -hmm. on this map. Ooh. We see enemy soldier on from Ko almost goes down from French Rob. Ooh, Blurgen tries to get that hack off on the Junker Queen. Unfortunately, he has to be pushed back a bit soon. And Yolo Tylo has just gone down, gets taken out by the enemy Moira. Easy to happen on this. Ooh. Ooh. Nice kill. Yeah, but we unfortunately it does not seem to be that that pick was enough for Ko as we proceed to take out everybody but the enemy Moira. Oh, and there she goes, taken down by French Rob, who gave chase. Yeah, it seemed to be that uh, biggest of owls uh, hit uh, Anti on three of them, which caused their Kiriko to use Suzu mm -hmm. and uh, made their whole entire planning go down the drain after that. And now it's just going to be a game of where is Ko going to try and poke from. If they choose high ground, they're going to walk straight into Warburg, but low ground provides its own disadvantage oh, from... Yolo Tylo is game. in the group chat, unfortunate. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some commentary from him, potentially. <laughs> Another good anti there. Mm -hmm. the and Pickle Poet pushes straight into it, trying to take advantage. Ooh, we see enemy Moira is Great ulting. Ult. Yep, yep, right after they use Kiriko Suzu, and now it's perfect time to use Junk Queen's mm -hmm. ult. They can't Manages to take out a healer, a DPS, and the tank, and there goes the second DPS. Once again, it is just Moira surviving. Unfortunately, she is not enough for this fight. Oop. Oh, seem to be off the Go ahead and just point. press escape again. There we go. All right. And Wartburg has taken the first point and are currently being boosted by Lucio to get to the second one faster. Unfortunately, it does look like Co College was already closer. Seems our Sombra played by Blurk and Turgen is uh, EMP. Maybe they might go mm -hmm. for something. Might be trying to get into that midline there in order to uh, give a good EMP so that way they can take him down. Ooh, almost. And he does. They managed to get down Co College's uh, Junker Queen right there. Unfortunately, that might spell out the beginning of the end for the team. And there goes the enemy Moira as well, and a TBS. So it does look like that Warburg is going to win this first fight, seeing as it's just clean up from here. Very excellent gameplay mm -hmm. by Lord and Turgen. He seems to be getting his uh, virus ability off pretty quickly. Quite good. And it does look like uh, going into this match, Wartburg is going to have three ults, whereas Co College only has two ready to go. But that Junker Queen ult is charging. So we will see here in this coming fight whether or not they choose to use both of them in order to try and get this point, or if they just uh, save it for a more opportune time. Ooh. Pickle Poet almost goes down there, getting caught out in a bit of a bad position, but managed to be and, saved by his healers. And Lucio pops mm -hmm. beat. Just, just in time for uh, May to use her ult. Cost us Pickle Poet, but unfortunately, I don't know if the rest of the team is there to back it up. Seems no. they all got rolled again. And once again, Co College has been taken down by Warburg in the team fight. They only ended up using one of their ults, which means that they will have two going on to the next point. Um... But it looks like Warburg will have about three by the time that the next point fight starts. Seeing as that Junker Queen is practically charged and French Rob is at 86%. Warburg is first to reach point this time, which means that it is going to be a bit of a challenge for Ko to peek in. Because, quite frankly, this point has quite a few spots that are not that great to look in from that seem to be the best option that you've got sometimes. Yeah, this point is particularly hard on mm -hmm. this map with uh, 
four pillars as your cover on the actual point. Yes. So you have to play off it a bit. Rather unfortunate for this to be potentially Warburg's final point because it means it's going to be just harder for Co College to be able to take it back. Both Junk Queens use their ult at the same yes. time. See how this plays out. Pickle Poet is purpled. Ooh. Enemy uh, Soldier manages to pop his ult, kills uh, French Rob and Biggest of Owls. And that is going to be both healers and the tank down. All that is left is going to be Blurg and Turgon on point, and he is falling back. Ooh, that's a good stagger right there. Managed to be taken out after the others. Yep, they use their ults way better than uh, mm -hmm. Warburg did. And that is going to be Ko taking that point. Uh, we also see that Glam Attack switches from May over to a Junkrat in order to try and spam that chokehold just a bit more to keep Warburg out. We are going to potentially see a nano visor here as both French Rob and Biggest Vals have their ults up. Unfortunately, French Rob is in a bit of a pickled spot right there. Out of the way. Ooh. Just barely just makes it out. Just barely makes it out from French Rob there. Almost got taken down. And we do see Junker Rat goes down to French Rob just in time for him to pop his ult and use tactical visor. Yep. So far. He's just gotten two, here. and that is going to be a nano from Biggest Vals on him as well. Enemy Trying Moira. to take down that enemy Moira coalescing, but unfortunately it does not seem to be quite there yet. But then Pickled Poet comes in and takes him out. Once again, Warburg is in control of the point. Unfortunately, they did use uh, the only ults they had charged, and the rest are not that far there. Co College, however, is not in any better position. They're only going to have Kiriko ready for this next fight. And they do need to win this next fight. Otherwise, this is going to once again go to Warburg on this map. We could see uh, our Sombra, Warburg and Turgon, mm -hmm. scoping up the enemy, which allows Pickle Poa to push forward, push manages forward. to kill that Junkrat mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. But we do see that the enemy Kiriko has ulted, trying to take out enemies. Almost but it's not killing. enough as both healers go down, as well as one of their DPS and the tank. That means that Warburg wins this team fight once again. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know that Ko is even going to be able to touch point at this point. Does not seem like it. And this match, Flashpoint, is going to go to Warburg as well. So that is going to be Warburg's third game one from all the rounds. I do not know if we are going to be continuing playing or if we're just going to best of three. Once again, we see Pickled Poet going three for three so far in play of the game. He is just an amazing tank and knows what he's doing. Manages to get in whenever he thinks is best and takes down pretty much the whole team. Yep, those are good axe swings mm -hmm. from that Drunker Queen play. All right. So with Flashpoint, that is going to be Warburg taking tonight. Yes, because it was first to three. It was a good show all around from everybody, and we thank Co College for coming out to play against us. We'd like to thank everybody that came to this live stream, and we hope to see you next week.